Hey, what's up everyone? Just wanted to touch base on this 950G, but before I do that, I would like to talk to everybody about something that I've noticed about the um, comments recently of Brian's video. Um, Brian basically uh, whisper status, and go check out his videos, by the way. Huge shout out to him. Um, if you haven't seen any of his videos, definitely go check those out. And uh, very good insight on TVs and personal experiences with TVs. But um, I've noticed a couple of funny things, uh, and it makes me wonder who actually has brought the TV home versus who went to Best Buy and saw the TV in torch mode with local dimming off possibly and um, all that all that stuff that goes along with going to a Best Buy store or your local store that would carry this 950G. Um, I've said this before in my videos two years ago that if you don't take the TV home and see for yourself if you like it, um, it's not going to be something that you're going to be able to make a really good subjective uh, response on as far as comparing it to what you either have or comparing it to other TVs because when you go to Best Buy everything's on complete full blast. It looks like I got a reset here for the internet. Let's see if it what happens here. Okay we're back. Sorry about that. Um, don't know what happened with the internet there but uh, what I was saying is uh, the Best Buy I mean is, is they have everything on complete bright and <clears throat> really it doesn't really give the any LED or LCD um, a good chance of letting you see actually what it can do um, like I said it, if you went into settings and adjusted the set properly took it out of torch mode set it up with the uh, local dimming on high um, Depending on the person you are, you put a little dynamic contrast in there, maybe not. Some people don't like it, some people do. Or uh, do the black adjust possibly on the TV set and uh, kind of cater it to your liking looking at the TV. I think you'll have a very different view of the TV rather than watching somebody's YouTube video, even my own, and uh, making your decision based off of someone's silly YouTube video because even though this looks pristine as far as accuracy of color and that's what I like mostly about this TV set is the accurate colors that you're seeing on the screen um, it's not nothing's blown out crazy uh, say like a Samsung TV with the uh, Q90R or the Q8FN or whatever TV you have um, I, I like those for gaming and a lot of you guys are gamers out there wanting your TV to have a lot of punch so if, you, if you're that type of person that has that wants that type of punch, then you should buy the Samsung because the Samsung will give you that extra vibrancy that you want and that fake looking grass. Um, you know, a lot of video games like video gamers like that. And I, I understand. I get it. It's a video game. You know, why not? But you do have live color on this that you can punch it up a little bit as well. So live color works outstandingly great for adjusting the TV set, you know. The flatter look is not for everybody, I get it, no big deal, but um, to get on there and say that uh, you saw the TV at Best Buy or a local showroom somewhere and didn't even get a chance to take it home is ludicrous to me, but to each his own, to each his own. I mean, everybody has the right to their opinion and, um, you know, rightfully so. It's a free country. So, with that said, um, I'm not doing uh, any more of the black... Uh, dark videos anymore because I haven't done hardly any light videos because I've been too busy trying to prove a point to people that the TV does have excellent black levels and uh, it has a low amount of blooming way lower than what other people are saying so I just wanted to put this out here there and uh, just explain to people and give my views of how I watch TV. And like I said, it's not for everybody. Uh, one other good thing, if you're so concerned about the black bars, I did say this in another video, uh, on your TV set that you want them pitch black, I would recommend that you go get a OLED. There, you don't have to worry about the TV being uh, any type of blooming in the black bars because I've seen every single TV I've had has blooming in the black bars that was an LED. Every single one. Now, the Z9D, it was super low, 
in the Q9FN. It was super low. I never owned that TV, but I've heard about that TV um, myself. Now, I have never had it in the living room, so I didn't get a chance to test it out, but it's overwhelmingly, uh, the consensus are that it's a completely, you know, black bar TV, basically, just hardly any blooming in the black bars. But any other TV that I've owned always had some type of blooming that was an LED. When I had my OLEDs, it was completely black. That's something you're going to give up being a TV owner and deciding on if you want to go LED or if you want to go OLED. That's something that um, that goes along with the territory, guys. So with that said, I'd like to end the video uh, here and uh, I'd like to wish everybody a great day. And, uh, you know, the shopping's coming up with uh, these TVs. I hope you find a TV that you, suits your needs. And I just wanted to represent this TV the best of its abilities. Here's some blacks coming up right now, but have a good one.